Hey, Mini Bash, it's the 26th of September, 2018, and I would like to just briefly share something with you that caught my attention and caused me to tell you about it. Um, several articles, more or less cookie cutter, AP article, uh, but it was parroted all over the place, you know. US News, more or less the same article. You can you can go look around and see it everywhere, okay? Uh, but I saw it first here in the Washington Post where democracy dies in darkness, okay? Trump to meet with Netanyahu. Well, of course, and he's going to chair the Security Council meeting. If there was one talk you want to watch, it's probably this one. Okay, because they're just setting up this whole Iran, Middle East, Russia. It's all just, it's all a giant black magic ritual. That's what it is. And they just, you know, put it out there like theater, essentially. And it's all designed to just fool the world into believing the lie. Okay, and you will believe the lie if you're not under the blood of Jesus Christ. That's just the way it works. Okay. So he's talking and he's telling the world, basically pouring out scorn on the ideology of globalism, heaping praise on his own achievements. OK, the U.S. will not tell you how to live and work and worship. Trump said unapologetically promoting his America first agenda. We only ask that you honor our sovereignty in return. And he's just telling them. Hey, we're energy independent, we are wealthy, we have the best military, and we are sticking to our patriotism. Do you see what I mean? Our sovereignty. Which, you know, hey, it is a good thing, but that's kind of beside the point at this uh, stage of the game. This is all being set up. This, this world is about to snap. Okay, it's just a matter of time. And judging by this ritual where they're placing their little triumphal arch all around the world and... Now it happens to be in the capital of this uh, world-leading, um, you know, United States. And this is what Trump is telling the world. And he was speaking in triumphal terms. Now, I understand that that is just a word, you know, it's that's all it is. But they made sure that they used that specific word very, very early on in the article all throughout the entirety of the press okay he he spoke in triumphal terms triumphal terms and of course you know i immediately associate that with the triumphal arch i mean if you take the word triumphal and just put it in a search engine the very first thing you're going to get is the triumphal arch that's what you're going to get which happens to be being dedicated and worshipped on the very forehead of the go to Mendes, the Baphomet in Washington, D.C., on the same day that Trump is chairing the Security Council and talking with Netanyahu. Okay, do you see where I'm, where I'm going with this? I mean, I'm just telling you that this ritual is coming to a climax. At some point, it's going to, you know, be unleashed. Just like 9-11, they, 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 cast this spell essentially and that's what it is you guys it's a spiritual war and you got to choose a side because you know you got to be definitive on what you believe and what you want you know it's like do you want peace and security and do you think you're going to get it through men and the answer is no jesus christ is the only way that's what those are the choices you're left with in this world. It's either Jesus and eternal peace, or it's the world and eternal darkness, okay? Or democracy dies in darkness. So, time to make a choice, because this, this whole thing is coming to a climax. That's all I know. When and how is anybody's guess, but it's soon, and you need Jesus. Him first, above all things, Everything else is secondary, okay? It'll all be shown to you. You'll understand. You'll be at peace, okay? You don't understand everything, obviously. You know, we see through the glass dimly. But we have that peace in Christ. 
and it's everything. Okay, this world is just dying, folks. Don't die with it. <laughs> All right, so I just wanted to show that to you. That's that's incredibly interesting to me that they use this term all over the place. It's coming, folks. Seek Jesus. Peace and grace to you. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 